What's up, nail friends? It's Sarah here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing Instagram Picks My Nail Arts. So if you're new here, my name is Sarah. I have been a professional nail tech for 12 years. So in my last video, I did my own nails, and they were really bitten. So I'm gonna share that video with you guys in the top corner and in my description box. So my nails have grown about two and a half weeks now, and they're looking a little bit better. See, you can see I've got some growth here, especially my pinky has grown. So last night I asked on Instagram what everyone wanted to see and a lot of people were saying they wanted to see Instagram pics my nail art. So I decided to put out some polls and asking this or that kind of thing. And then we're gonna kind of see what kind of stuff you guys chose. And then I'm gonna put together a nail design based on that. Okay, so let's see what you guys chose. I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget. Okay. Ooh, pastel versus neon. Oh shoot, I was hoping it was pastel. So we're gonna do neon colors. Okay, so Instagram picks, yellow or green? You guys went with yellow over green. Blue versus purple, so we got yellow and purple. And pink, yellow, purple, and pink. Okay, the next question was, should I do marble or color blocking? Ooh, you guys picked marble. Neon and marble so far. Okay, the next one, Add black or add white into it. So you guys want white, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so I'm gonna inlay unicorn flakes instead of loose glitter. Okay, what's the next one? Stamps or chrome? So you guys picked chrome at 59%. Matte or shiny? Phew. 3D or crystals? Ooh, crystals, yay. We're gonna do neon nails with yellow, purple, and pink, marble, and with white. Unicorn flakes, chrome, and crystals. Okay, so neon, yellow. Um, I have these two to pick from. So this is Shine Bright and Queen Bee. There's also a highlighter yellow. I don't have that one. So we're gonna pick between these two. I think I'm gonna go with like the plain ones instead of the sparkly ones. I just marble better. So we're gonna go with Queen Bee. Okay, for neon purple, I'm thinking this one, Purple Rain. And then pink, neon pink. So what would go really nice? Should we do something really neon like these? Or, yeah, I guess we should, hey? Dragon fruit? I feel like neon fuchsia shimmer is more of like a hot pink, which is more neon. So that's what we're, these are the three we're gonna go with, I think, okay? So we got queen bee, purple rain, and neon fuchsia shimmer. We're gonna add white. So I'm thinking like a shimmer white. I feel like they marble really well together, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I have a bunch of unicorn flakes here. Before picking the unicorn flakes, I'm gonna have to see what looks good on these colors. So we'll do that in a bit. Same with the crystals and stuff. Before we can start on the fun application, I'm gonna prep my nails. I'll prep my thumb for you guys and show you guys how I do that. So I'm gonna use my um, luminary cuticle tool because I just like the way this, this one is. I'm just gonna push the skin back gently and carefully. The e-file bit I'm gonna use is this one. And I have people asking me which, what I stick it on. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Probably there, maybe a little bit more. Like that. So this is just pushing the skin out of the way while prepping. And then I reverse my file so that I can easily go down the other side. I'm gonna use a flame bit now. So we sell these flame bits on my site. Okay, I'll throw them in the luminary essential section. So again, you can go one way and then reverse your tool and go the other way. And this will help just get any bits you missed. And then the last bit is this one. And this bit just helps get all of the skin out of the way. Just kind of use it to push the skin up and out of the way. And then I'll get any extra bits of like flaky skin. Like that piece just came up and that would have been in my way. And this is like such a smooth bit. And I'm just gonna remove the shine off my nail plate. I'm cleansing the nails with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe. For monomer, my Hema Free Monomer from Glitter Bells. So I'm gonna use my uh, Glitter Bells Extreme Length Tips. And the glue I'm gonna use to glue these on is my Glitter Bells base glue. Make sure you give it a good shake.
So I apply glue right here and I do two to three at a time. And I kind of just let it sit on the side here just so it can kind of dry a bit. And then I put it on. So you only really need to put it on the very tip. Try to get the side walls too. And since I let it dry for like a little bit on the side, it's much easier when placing it on the nail. They're so long. I like to shape and blend my tips before doing anything. So that's what I'm just gonna quickly do that. So I'm gonna blend right at the So these have kind of like a square tipped edge. I want them to be pointy, like really pointy. So I go under the nail and then I like this and file. And then I turn my file. And I just go back and forth on both sides. So you just go back and forth until it's pretty even. So I'm going to do that on all my nails and I'm going to kind of go over it to remove this shine here. Okay, so here's how they look after they've all been filed. Oh my gosh, they're so long. I love these tips. They're super straight. Do you guys see straight out from the sidewall, which is exactly what I like. So these are all done. I'm going to prep with some dehydrator and primer. We're going to use my Glitter Bills dehydrator. You only really need to put it on the natural nail. And then acid free primer. Okay, so I put all the colors out here. And we're gonna swatch them because we gotta pick a unicorn flake that'll look good. Because I don't wanna just like throw a unicorn flake on there. I've done that in the past and it's been a huge mistake because the color didn't go. So we're just gonna pull these colors onto this paper towel and see what unicorn chrome will look good. These colors are like, I don't know if they go together that well. So I've got unicorn flakes here from the nail team. See the champagne is kind of like, that works, it's pretty. Looks kind of pink. Okay, and then let's see what the blue looks like. Ooh, well, that's cool too. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do both. <laughs> That's easier. Okay, I'll do both. We're supposed to do chrome. I'm thinking of putting the chrome in the nail. And then you like, you get the chrome in there, in the nail. And it's really pretty. Maybe I'm gonna do that. Let's get started on this, uh, this marble here. I'm gonna do white at the cuticle area. Just cause I feel like with marble, I don't know. It doesn't really matter what color you go down first. You just need a bead down first. Just makes it easier. Okay. Got that white down. So let's pull some colors through. This will be fun. Um, I'm gonna put more white down. Cleaning off my brush, dipping in purple. Cleaning off my brush, dipping in yellow on my brush. And pull. that through. Now I'm cleaning off my brush. I'm gonna add some pink down here, put white in it, and then dip in with purple, and then use the purple to swirl. And I'm gonna pull some yellow through. Clean out the sides. White, pink, purple, and yellow. Let's go in with the flakes. I kind of double dipped in them so we get like both flake colors in there. We're just gonna place them on randomly.
Okay. <laughs> That's fun. Let's do the next nail. We'll do the chrome. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the chrome. On this nail, I'm gonna go in with the white again, but also mix it in with the pink at the cuticle area. Okay, so now we can do the marble. So I'm gonna do yellow, white, purple. And go in with the pink. The fun part of mar marble is when you get these like cool defined marble poles. Fun. Don't you guys think though this would look cool if it was with the black though? But then again, when the whole thing is done it might look really cool. That one looks cooler than this one. I do like that one better. Okay, add flakies. I definitely don't want to cover up any of the cool look I made over here. Basically just adding the flakes like on the tip and at the top, just kind of random. Do whatever you want with the flakes. The next one, I'm gonna do the same idea with the white at the cuticle area, but I'm gonna dip this time in purple. I kind of liked the way that spread out. Thought it looked really nice at the cuticle area. Instead of just the plain white, it's almost too, the white, uh, the plain white's almost too white on the thumb, you know? Okay. So now the fun part. Purple. Pink. Don't want to be yellow. Let's use the white now to pull these colors through. Cool. Never judge a nail set until it's done. Because you just never know. Why is it so fun to marble these colors together? It's like the funnest part. I love marble. That's what they look like so far. So I'm gonna speed through these last two and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the chrome. Wow, those are so bright. While they're all done, I like them. When you just do one, it's weird, but when they're all done, they look so cool. Okay, I'm kinda into the neon marble. What do you guys think so far? I'm gonna shut everything, just so I don't spill anything, and then we're gonna figure out this chrome situation. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I have some chrome here. This is the Get Buff Nails Chrome. And it's like a really pretty, I don't know, just like really pretty chrome, see? So I'm just going to kind of pull it through with some clear. Okay, so we're going to pick up a little bit of clear. And then I'm just going to dip into the chrome. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to see what this looks like. Just pull it through. Yeah, that looks cool. It's kind of like an extra like shimmer that's just going to go through 
the nails. That's what we're gonna do. So now we can actually encapsulate all these. So I'm gonna use my glitter bells glass slippers, of course. So I always like to apply a thin layer just to encapsulate at the very tip. So at least get the tip encapsulated. Place it right there. Cleaning off my brush, just gonna spread the product. And then I need to use the belly of my brush to pull the product down. And then I'm just pulling it. We're gonna apply more if we need it, especially right here. But that's just like how I encapsulate my very tip. And then I'm gonna encapsulate my cuticle area. So you be like that, draining it a bit. Placing it right here, so my finger is bent downward. And then I'm gonna start and push this towards the cuticle area while also spreading it down and encapsulating. Okay, so here's the side view. They're just encapsulated. I need more product here, and I need to build my apex. So, I'm gonna apply product at the tip first. A small bead. I'm gonna fade that up a bit, and then I'm patting and maneuvering this at the tip. And I don't wanna wipe it off, like I, I just placed it. I wanna like pull this all the way off. So I'm just carefully Moving the product where I want it, patting it. There we go. And then I'm going to do an apex over here. Okay, that's a side view. I'm gonna probably add a little bit more. Don't be afraid to add beads. It's better to add more and build your product up so you have the correct strength than to try to get full coverage with one bead. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna encapsulate the rest of these. And this is them all fully encapsulated. So not filed yet. I have a similar speed that I showed you guys for prep, a little bit higher. And I'm just gonna hold my finger and hold my skin. I'm gonna kind of pull back the skin when I go around the cuticle area. And just kind of carefully thin this area out. You can also use this to thin out your sides here. Just so you have a little bit less when it comes to hand filing. So just debulk with your e-file. Okay, so I debulked a little bit, super dusty. Now I'm just gonna use my file to refine my shape. I'm gonna make my sides extremely sharp. I'm gonna go like this, one way. So I'm just going the one way and that's to thin out the one side. So I lift up every time. Then I'm going to go around the cuticle area and then again down the one side. Then I like to kind of like hold my file like this and file like that just to even the tip out. Okay, so I'm going to do that to the rest of my nails. Thank you. 
Okay, so you, can, you guys can see like that's what it looks like when it's filed versus not filed. So you're just kind of refining what you've put down. So I'm gonna finish file these off camera. Okay, so I have them all filed. This is what they look like so far. Aren't they so colorful and fun? I am actually like way more into these than I thought I would be. Okay, so now we can add some crystals because that's what you guys want. Okay, for crystals, I'm thinking this. So gold rings, gold beads, and some clear. I use this like coaster here to put my glitter bells glue on. I'm just gonna apply and see how it goes. Oh, I just love, I love these rings. So if you guys are curious where I got these rings, they're from Beauty and Beauty Box. I love the little rings, they're so pretty. I'm liking this. Uh, okay, for top coat, I'm gonna be using my Glitter Bells No Wipe top coat. And when you put top coat on, you're not gonna want to get it on your crystals. So just put it near your crystals, like right here. I'm not gonna put it on my crystal. I'm just gonna push it close. You can, however, put top coat on like embellishments like this and that, like the beads and the rings. So on this nail one, top coating it, you can see the chrome shimmer in there. So pretty, I'm glad I did that and not on top. Cause I feel like if, you, if I tried to do chrome over top of this, it would totally just kind of ruin the whole look. Okay, so I top coat all of these and now I'm gonna pop them in the lamp. Gonna apply some cuticle oil. Okay, and here is the finished result. What do you guys think? Oh my God, I love them. These turned out actually so much better than I thought they were going to. If you like this video, please, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!